After making a GET request to a REST service, the natural progression is to post information back to the server. In this episode, we will look at how to post JSON to a Spring controller and have it automatically convert JSON to an array list, object, or even multiple objects. The first thing to understand is how JSON binds to a Java object. The request body method parameter annotation should bind the JSON value in the HTTP request body to the Java object by using an HTTP message converter. In episode 13, we discussed the responsibility of a HTTP message converter. To recap, HTTP message converter is responsible for converting the HTTP request message to an associated Java object. In our case, we want to convert JSON to a Java object when a request is made. Spring will look specifically for an HTTP message converter associated to the MIME type to perform the conversion. Since Spring Boot configures it automatically if Jackson is on our class path, mapping Jackson to message converter is used. Alternatively, you can configure JSON HTTP message converter based on a Google JSON library, which was officially released in Spring version 4.1. We'll set up a new project with Spring Boot and create a POJO object, car, which we'll post to a Spring controller. One thing to note in our snippets is we won't discuss REST API design topic or make the actual update to the persistence layer. Before we post JSON, let's create a method to return a car and make a request to HTTP localhost 8080. You will notice that we're using response entity as a method return type. Response Entity is a class that allows you to modify request and response headers. An important design aspect of REST services is to return the proper HTTP status code, and in this case, uh, HTTP 200. Making a request to this localhost 8080 will get a response of a car with the pre-populated data. You might want to update a car object by posting JSON to a URL. A more detailed user story would be, as a user, I want to be able to update attributes of my car. We will create a request mapping and specify method equals request method dot post, which tells Spring to use the method when a post occurs. When the post is made, let's also increment the miles by 100. Using the sample JSON that we received from the get request, let's post that back and it should automatically increment the miles by 100. We'll use a method of post and then paste in a JSON payload. You'll notice that there's a HTTP 200 with the information returned, incrementing the miles. Next, you might have a life event where you inherit a car, get married, or your child starts to drive. Now we have a series of cars we want to update the mileage. Let's create a new request mapping to HTTP localhost 8080 slash cars, which accepts a JSON array as a parameter. Again, we will increment mileage by 100 using a Java 8 for each loop. Modifying our sample JSON above, we will convert it to JSON array and add an additional node. Let's make a request using an advanced REST client Chrome plugin again. We should see the miles increment by 100 in each object. If you want to send multiple JSON objects to a controller, you will need to create a wrapper object that represents your request due to the request containing the entire JSON content. We will create a truck object, request wrapper object, and a new request mapping. The request wrapper object will contain a list of cars and a single truck object. Again, we will use advanced REST client to post to localhost 8080 cars and trucks with a JSON representation of cars array and also a truck object. Thanks for joining in today's Level Up Lunch. Have a great day.